Hello everyone, my name is Eric Creel and welcome to the Creel Studios. So, I here today to do my review on The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is a sequel to the first movie and came out in 2014. For the plot, we have Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, who know every fans who love, and then suddenly happens is when Max Dillon, who wants to found out the secret with the lightning thing, and suddenly when Max Dillon turns to Electro, and then suddenly happens is when Harry Osborn, who wants to become as the Green Goblin, and then when basically happens is it's up to Spider-Man while to feel Electro and Green Goblin, and that's basically the plot for the entire movie. So what do I think about The Amazing Spider-Man 2? So, for the first time, I've been, I've been binge-watched it on HD Today CC, and then what do I think of it? This movie looks so underrated, and it's even better than the first. So, the story of the film looks absolutely pretty great. The visuals and special effects are awesome. The action sequences are really epic. The characters, we have Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. He's amazing in this one, including Gwen Stacy. She's amazing in this one, and including Harry Osborn, also known as the Green Lantern. He's pretty good. Probably is not as good as James Franco, one with Harry Osborn, a.k.a. Green Goblin, in every first three Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, but he looks pretty awesome with a different actor. So, including <clears throat> the Rhino, which is performed by Paul Giamatti. He looks really awesome, and pretty decently indeed. So, and here you have Max Dillon. He's okay. Probably not the best looking performance by Jamie Foxx, but I thought it was okay. But here's the one negative to the last. And that is Electro. You know the colors of blue? Wow. He's nothing like Electro in the comics. You know, Electro in the comics, one with the colors of the suit, like yellow or green. But an Electro in this movie, that he's blue. I'm no joking. He's blue. So, the music scores looks absolutely pretty amazing. And the end credit song called It's On Again, that is really awesome. Probably the best song of the entire movie. So I have, well, the spy has one problem, and that is the blue electro, but overall, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is even better than the first, and it's easily one of the most underrated movies that came out in 2014. I gave The Amazing Spider-Man 2... A 9 out of 10. It is a near-perfect sequel. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So, tell me, what do you think of this movie? Let me know in the comments. And most of the YouTubers who do not like this movie, and that is... Lamborock Strikes Back and Harry Thomas Pictures. The both who do not like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But I accept their opinion. So, and stay tuned for my review is Spider-Man Homecoming, coming soon. If you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button if you want to see more messages, notifications, whatever you like. Thanks for watching and goodbye.